Welcome back everyone to Learning with Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 12.198, okay? It says, if the end of the cable at A is pulled down with a speed of 5 meters per second, determine the speed at which block B rises. So what we have in here is a pulley system and a person is pulling our rope at the end A at 5 meters per second, right? And what we're trying to determine is how this uh, block B is rising, okay? So in order to solve these problems, what we're going to do is that we are going to create dotted lines. And what dotted lines are is basically we are defining kind of like our zero point. That's how I like to think about it. So let me zoom in a little bit more. So we see it a little bit better. And we're going, I'm going, I'm deciding to create dotted lines exactly at these pulley systems at the end of these pulley systems and you guys will see really soon why it's the reason for that okay so those datum lines are going to help me decide how long this cable is so that's our overall goal okay now if we go step by step on each single segment of this cable so if we go from A all the way to our datum line, we can say that this segment, I'm going to call it our segment A, and this segment has a direction downwards, okay? I'm just deciding it, uh, I'm deciding that I am assuming it. And I'm also giving it downwards just because uh, we know that the hand is trying to push our cable down. Now, at the end of our um, segment A, we have this part of the cord that is always going to be this size. So I'm going to draw it in red in order to show you guys that this segment is constant. So we don't actually care about this part of the, of the cord and you guys will see because when we do our derivative with respect to time, that segment will never change. Now we will have the segment from here all the way to our second bottom line and this segment I'm going to call it segment B and the reason for that is that from here to here is basically my position for my block B like my block B will be moved by this okay so also since I since I put my segment A moving downwards I will keep the same direction for my segment B okay now besides having segment B we also have this constant around my pulley system of the cord right and then after that I have these two segments that I'm going to put it in a darker blue from here to here that are not constant so if I want to define these two chords what I'm going to create is that I'm going to create this distance from our bottom line all the way to our segment to start and I'm going to name this a constant A okay so this is just a regular constant and now that we have this what we can do is that we can define what is the total length of this chord so if we start so if we are going to start that we have the our length has to be equal to all the sum of all our segments, right? So if we start from here, we got segment A, so we write that down, we got segment A plus then this constant, we don't care about it, then we have segment B, so we'll have our segment B plus we have these two segments that can also vary, but how much is this amount of, like how much are these two? So now that we have our constant A, we can say, okay, these two segments are always going to be our segment B minus our constant A. So we'll have two times our segment B minus our constant A, right? So basically what I'm saying is that this red uh, laser point is equal to segment B minus this constant A. Now that we have the total length 
of this pulley, uh, of the cord of the pulley system, what we can do is that we're going to, um, let's first simplify a little bit more. So we have the length is going to be equal to SA plus, and then we'll have one SB plus two SBs. So that will give me three SBs minus two times A, okay? So now that we have it simplified, we're going to take, take the time derivative Okay, so if we take the time derivative on our left side, we have the total length of the cord. Well, the total length of the coil will never change, right? We won't make it like longer or we won't make it shorter because we are assuming that this cord is unstretchable, okay? It's not flexible. So we're going to have that on our left side will be equal to zero. Now, our segment A, if we take our segment A, if we took the, take the derivative of this, we are going to find the velocity of A. Then we will have plus three times the velocity of B minus, well, we clarify that A is a constant. So if it's a constant, if it never changes, right? It would, it would make sense that this part of the pulley system, this um, distance will never change. Therefore, that is going to be equal to zero. And we can just erase it from the equation. So now that we took our time derivative, we can relate that the velocity of A has to be equal to negative three times the velocity of B, okay? Now, if we go back to our problem statement, it says that our velocity at A is equal to five meters per second. So if we plug that in, we have that five meters per second has to be equal to negative three times the velocity of v okay so if we solve for the velocity of v it's going to be equal to 5 divided by negative 3 and this should give me an equal of negative 1.67 meters per second okay now if you guys are wondering why we have a negative in our answer the reason why is because our sb segment is according to the drawing is going positive downwards so if we got negative that means that our block is going upwards or rising as we were expecting if we were to pull our point a uh, downwards okay so that was all uh, all guys for this video i hope you guys liked the video push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one